What's up YouTube, I'm Empire Comics. Thanks for clicking on my video. If you're new here, we talk about comics I'm collecting, speculating, and reading. But in this video, we're gonna speculate on Spider-Verse, or more so across the Spider-Verse part two and three. I'm gonna show you all the books I picked up since the trailer dropped December 4th last year. I have over 75 books. The majority of them were from Midtown Comics, some from mycomicshop.com, and maybe like five from eBay. All these books range from $1.50 to like $10. The majority of these books were under $4. Midtown Comic had some crazy sales in December. They had 40% off, 50% off, 60% off, and towards the end, even 70% off. Now, I've already been collecting the first appearances of all the different Spider-Mans since sometime last year. So I had quite a few already in my PC, but we're not gonna look at those. We're gonna look at just the ones I got the past two, three weeks. And quite a few of these are from my personal collection that I wanted to grab before they got out of reach. All right, let's get into some Spider-Verse. Like I told y'all in the intro, I got over like 75 books. I had enough to almost fill up a short box of comics. Um, I picked up this uh, pretty dope uh, Spider-Verse Web Warriors uh, short box that they had at the comic book shop a few weeks ago. And it was perfect. All right, let's get into these books. All right, the first one we have is Amazing Spider-Man issue two, volume three. This has the second appearance of Cindy Moon and the first appearance of Francine Fryer, who later becomes the second Electro. I was able to grab two of those. All right, all right, this next one's pretty dope. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue seven, volume three. This is the uh, one in 15 variant. This is the first appearance of Billy Braddock, AKA Spider UK. All right, this next one's Amazing Spider-Man issue eight, volume three, cover A. This has the first time we get Silk's full costume or classic costume. And I have a second one of that. All right, this next one's Amazing Spider-Man issue nine from volume three. All right, this has the second appearance of Spider-Gwen, the first cameo appearance of Solus, who's the father of the Inheritors. The first uh, time you get Spider Gwen, Silk, and uh, Spider Woman together. First cameo of Sue Spider Man in US comics. Also, we have a cameo of a bunch of Spider Men, like uh, Spider Iron Fist, Spider Hulk, uh, Spider Man as a Human Torch, Spider Kane, Spider Uncle Ben, Spider Wolverine, Spider Venom, Spider Deadpool. It has the first time we uh, see the 1969 cartoon version of Spider Man. Spider Tarzan and a whole bunch more. Now this one might be hard to find under ten dollars, but if you're lucky, you might still be able to find it out there. All right, the next one I have is Amazing Spider-Man issue ten, volume three. This has the first appearance of Spider Punk, and it's also a pretty dope cover. All right, the next one is issue eleven, Amazing Spider-Man issue eleven, the first full appearance of Solus, the father of the Inheritors. All right, the next one we have is the cover B Incentive Spider-Verse variant. All right, the next one we got is Amazing Spider-Man issue 12. This has the first appearance of Leo Pardon, the giant robot operated by Sue Spider-Man from the 1970 show. All right, and the next one I have is Amazing Spider-Man issue 13. This has the death of Solus and Kane, the first appearance of Menace, the first appearance of Monster, the cameo of Assassin Spider-Man, Old Spider-Man, Ezekiel Sims, Spider-Monkey, cameo of Cosmic Spider-Man, Bullet Point Spider-Man, which is Bruce Banner, Cowboy Spider-Man, and Spider-Host. Also, the first time we see Mego Spider-Man. All right, the next one I have is Amazing Spider-Man issue 14. This has the first cameo of the Web Slingers. And then we have Amazing Spider-Man 15, pretty dope cover. This has the first Warriors of the Web, later called the Web Warriors. All right, and then this is a fairly newer one. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 39 from volume five. This is the Chinese New Year's connecting variant with a bunch of these Spider-Verse characters. We have uh, Scarlet Spider, um, we can't see who we got here. We have uh, Spider-Man 2099, we have Kazakh Spider-Man, we have Spider-Man India, Peter Porker Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four Spider-Man with the bag, 
a whole bunch of them. Scarlet Spider, there's a whole bunch of them right there. And I have a second one of that. All right, this next one's Amazing Spider-Man issue 57 from volume five. This has the first appearance of The Order, a group previously called The Order of the Web. I have about three of those. All right, these next ones are just cover buys. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 50 LR. It has the order right there on the cover. And then I got the variant cover of that one. That one's pretty dope too. And then we have issue 51 LR with the, uh, them on the cover there. And we have issue 54 LR, them fighting Spider-Man or whatever they're doing to him. All right, then I have here Amazing Spider-Man Sins of Norman Osborn issue one. This is cover A. This has the first time that group was together calling themselves the Order of the Web. And I got a second one of that. All right. All right, this one right here, I was lucky enough to grab this one as soon as that trailer dropped for way under what it's going for right now. This is Spider-Man issue two, volume 12, cover A, the Sarah Pacelli cover. This is uh, Sitting on the Tree, part one. Some say this is the first kiss between Miles and Gwen. All right, then we have uh, Spider-Man volume two, issue 13. This is just part three, part three, right? Yeah, part three of Sitting in the Tree. And it was a cool cover with Miles and uh, Spider-Gwen. All right, this next one is Miles Morales issue 20, cover B. It was just a nice variant cover of Miles. Um, I thought it was pretty dope. I wanted to pick it up. I just forgot to put a board in this one. This is Miles Morales issue 30. This is the Miles Morales 10th anniversary variant that has Miles and Gwen Stacy together getting some pizza. All right, this next one, Spider-Gwen volume two, issue one, the Tyler Christopher uh, action figure variant. This is pretty cool. And then we got Spider-Gwen uh, issue four, cover B. This was just a uh, cover by. That's a pretty sick cover though. Then we got Spider-Gwen volume two, issue 16. This is sitting in a tree part two with uh, Gwen right down there and Spider-Man uh, Spider Miles Morales. All right, then we got Spider-Gwen Volume 2, Issue 20. This is a cool Robbie Rodriguez cover. All right, this next one is Spider-Man 2099 meets Spider-Man. It's the first time Spider-Man Peter Parker meets Spider-Man uh, 2099. All right, this next one is Spider-Man 29, Volume 2, Issue 1. This is just a pretty dope uh, J. Scott Campbell cover I wanted to get. And the next one is Spider-Man 2099, Volume 2, Issue 9. This is a nice uh, Francisco Matina cover. All right, this next one is Edge of Spider-Verse, Superior Spider-Man, Issue 32. This is the first appearance of the Spider-Army, the first appearance of the Inheritor Karn, who later becomes the Master Weave. All All right, the next one is Superior Spider-Man, Edge of Spider-Verse, issue 33. That's the first appearance of Spider-Cyborg and the first team appearance of the Inheritors. All right, this next one is Edge of Spider-Verse, issue three. Pretty dope cover there. This has the first appearance of Aaron Akam, which is Spider-Armor Spider-Man. The first Namora, who is an Inheritor. And the first Dura, I really pronounce that. Also, the first appearance of Red Eye, Rick Landris. All right, the next one is Spider-Verse Team Up Issue 3. That's a pretty cool cover with a bunch of the ultimate Spider-Man. And in this issue, Khan leaves the Inheritors and joins the Spider-Man team. All right, next one is Spider-Verse Issue 2. This has the first appearance of Captain Anarchy and also the real name of Spider-Punk, Kobe Brown is revealed in this one. All right, now we got Spider-Verse Volume 2, Issue 1. This was just a cool cover there that I got. All 
Then we got Spider-Verse Volume 2, Issue 2. This is a cool cover with uh, Spider-Gwen, but it also has the first appearance of the Sinister Six of, 20, of Earth 22191, which has Doc Ock, Electro, Kraven, Sandman, Scorpion, and Vulture. It also has the first Carnage and Tombstone from Earth 22191. Alright, another Spider-Verse one, Spider-Verse Volume 2, Issue 3. This has the first appearance of Peter Parker of Earth 22191, who's retired but later joins the Web Warriors. Alright, the next one is Spider-Verse Volume 2, Issue 4. This has the first Eddie Brock Venom from Earth 22191. And then we have Spider-Verse Issue 5. That's a pretty cool cover with the Spider-Verse characters on there. All right, then this is Spider-Verse Volume 3, Issue 1. This is the Walmart variant. This has the first appearance for Spider-Zero, which is also the first cover appearance, the first Spider-Monster, first Spider, uh, first Lord Spider, the first spider Requiem, and the first appearance of V, and the first appearance of uh, the Spinster. Then we have uh, Issue 4 from the same series. Pretty cool cover with uh, Cowboy Spider-Man. This has the first Scorpion of Earth 31913. I don't think that matters. I just got it for the cover. All right, this is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse issue one. Pretty cool cover here with the Spider-Man there. All right, the next one is Edge of Spider-Verse issue one. This is a pretty cool cover with uh, Spider-Punk on there. This has the first Hulk, Robbie Banner from Earth 138, and the first Kang the Conglomerator from Earth 138. This is a pretty cool cover. Edge of Spider Get in issue two. This is the first appearance of Addy Brock from Penny Parker's universe, who uses that Venom tech suit. All right, the next one is Edge of Spider Get in issue three. This has the first Peter P.D. Parker, this one right there, and the first appearance of this Ben Parker Spider-Man who received the blood transfusion from Peter Parker and became Spider-Man of that universe but that's a pretty dope cover and then I had the uh, variant pretty dope then we have issue 4 of Edge of spider Getting. this has the first kobold which is Harry Osborn wearing the kobold suit and then we have Spider again in issue one, the variant edition by In Yuck Lee. It's a pretty cool cover right there. Then we have Spider again in issue one, another variant. This is the one in 25 Javier Garan variant. It's pretty dope, man. It has a whole bunch of these uh, Spider Men on there. And another variant from issue one, the Top Knock Penny Parker variant. Then we got spider again in issue 3. That's a pretty dope cover of a bunch of the Spider-Men. This has the first appearance and cover appearance of Spider's Man. Which is him right down there. Alright, the next one is spider again in issue 4. It's a pretty sick cover there. But it has the first cameo appearance of Spider-Cop in comics. And the first cameo appearance of Dinosaur Spider-Man. Or Spider-Dinosaur. And then I have cover B, which is pretty dope. That's a sick cover. And there's Spider Dinosaur right there. That's pretty dope. Then we got Spider again in issue five. This has the first appearance of uh, Miles Morales as Captain Universe and the first full appearance of Spider Cop. All right, now we got Spider Force issue one. This one has the first appearance of Spider Kid and the first appearance of Astro Spider. All right, the next one is Volt of Spiders issue two, cover A. It's a pretty cool cover. And it has the first appearance of the Spider, Captain George Stacy as Spider-Man. That's him right there. All right, the next one here we got is Spider Girls issue one. This has a tie-in from spider Getting. It features Mae Parker, Anya Corazon, and Annie Parker. All right, the next one is Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, 
volume two, issue one. Some of y'all right now have been talking about this one. This is the first time we get Mary Jane as the spider character here. I forget her name, is it, is it Spinster or something like that? I was able to snag two of those. And then we have the action figure variant. Another one of those. And then we have issue two. And this has the first time we see her in that costume. Then we have Web Warriors issue one. And this is the cool Web Warriors cover. Also has the first time we get the 1967 uh, Sinister Six. You know, the Sinister Six from the meme. They're in here. And we have the first Electro Prime. And here's just another cover I got that has a bunch of them there fighting all the different Electros. All right, this next one is Spider-Man City at War issue one. It has the first appearance of the PS5 Spider-Man. All right, this next one, I'm not sure if we're ever gonna see this one, but I said, why not? Let's get it. It's Spider-Boy issue one. This is from the, the uh, Amal, I can never pronounce that. Am 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 Amalgam universe, which is Robin and Spider-Man mixed together. But hey, you never know. And this last one here is Ultimate Spider-Man issue 54. This is the first time we get Tobey Maguire in comic books. He's also wearing the Spider-Man costume. All right, guys, there you have it. That's all the books I have for this Spider-Verse haul. If you like the video, smash that like button, click subscribe, and let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below. Until next time, keep specking. Later.